Brad is what at the end I am, and Miu Miu is what I would like to be. So it's uh, myself uh, hoping to be somebody else. Hi, I'm Tim Blanks for Style.com, and today we have a very, very rare on-camera encounter. Mutua Prada launched her second collection, Mew Mew, and when she showed in London for autumn winter 1997, she gave us an interview. It's, it's time for more glamour, for more fantasy, and, uh, and the idea for Mew Mew that you can be glamorous with uh, poor things, with little things, like the ABC of uh, lifting up kind of paillette that I always hated, but now I like because it's so the first way of being glamorous. So you feel much freer with Mew Mew? Are you feeling like more experimental? Absolutely. Interesting that they chose to show Mew Mew in London. I think that's a reflection of Mucha's incredible instinct for the moment. London was having a moment at that time. It was still way under the radar, but it was boiling with strange new life forms. I think that the spirit here is, more, is much more free, is much more eccentric. Italy is more conservative. We made it, those heels were so tall and, and, and a lot of girls were tripping, but no, it was beautiful. Beautiful show, she did a wonderful job. At this point in the 90s, the Prada revolution wasn't really in full cry yet. I think as time has worn on, she has really established herself as probably the single most important influence in contemporary fashion. And that was Mucha Prada and Mew Mew. I like watching her talk on camera. If you feel the same way, let me know. And please subscribe to the Style.com channel.